and action. So today we have four cards, four of a kind, four different ways, and all that. So, <laughs> so anywho, so today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about how I prepare for a video. So that was kind of the beginning of that. I might do some type of marker where I touch my glasses, I hold the cards up. That way I know where my cut point is and then I can margin in for my edit after that. So when you're doing your videos, there's a lot of prep work that goes into that. So let's jump into that. So basically, you got to make sure you look the part. Some days I get on camera and it looks like I haven't done anything. Because in fact, I probably really have it. And that's because those videos are very raw, very uncut really for the most part and because having longer hair requires a lot more work to put into it and when i had shorter hair i could just take some product slick it back and it was all good with longer hair you got to do more with it so today we brushed our hair we got everything ready to go we did a, a nice eldridge knot if you guys want i can do some tie tutorials on how to tie toys toys toy reviews <laughs> welcome to the old days anyway tie 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 tying videos yeah say that knots you know why not so <laughs> all the extra stuff there anywho so you get prepared because you get yourself ready you get yourself there i got the glasses i decided to go with that you get your setup whatever you want to have in shot make sure everything else is out of the way make sure that you're clear to go and make sure everything is good and you're going to be taking at least for myself i have maybe 20 30 clips of me just going through and going through and going through until I get the right one and then I edit the beginning and I edit and at the end because I do those shorts on my phone like most people probably do <laughs> um, I don't have the software when I do videos like this I have OBS and then I can't really edit it so I have to make sure that we look good from the beginning to the end and that's why a lot of those videos are just rather they're very minimal videos I basically do what I need to do to get ready some videos I put a little bit more effort into than others because sometimes those videos are meant to be a little bit more in that vein right pick what you're gonna do I do a loose script but most of it is is um, I get a feel for the trick and then I determine what's going to look and sound good aesthetically and verbally, you know, the verbiage and the articulation for the trick I figure out as I'm performing it and then I will hone in on what I want to say and do. And the one I'm most proud of right now is is the uh, card through silk. That one I poured way more time into doing that one and doing the scripting and doing the making sure that the angles were right and I'm really trying to get to that quality and that's that's the thing I want to talk about in terms of like putting all these things together is when you have a finished product that you absolutely love we're talking about when when you upload a video and you're like yeah you know I've been trying to get to the point where I don't upload a lot of like flashy videos don't want you to be in the flash zone I want you guys to enjoy the content without being like oh well that's how I did it and sometimes the video sometimes I'll purposely do mistakes like that uh, sometimes it throws you off sometimes it's not really about the that particular thing right so when I upload a video like that car through silk and I feel good about it let me tell you about that there is no amount of anything which nobody there was a little bit on Facebook but I love that video I feel confident about the amount of time and effort I put into it I feel confident about how I built it up and what I did with it and so I'm happy that that product that video is on my channel because I know that I really really went above and beyond myself and made that as best as I possibly could and so now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to the point where every video I put up is as good as that video that's the first step and then I make another video that is better than that one. and then I get all my videos to that level and that's kind of what we're trying to do we're trying to get to the point where every time we upload we get better and better so obviously taking care <laughs> I don't, really, don't need these on anymore I love these glasses these are my new favorites sunglasses so um, so having the hair obviously if I'm gonna grow my hair out then I need to make sure that I maintain it properly especially for the videos sometimes it can be difficult getting it to stay where it needs to be but ultimately that's a thing with having long hair it'd be great if I had a stylus it'd be great like I want to grow it out to the point where I can get braids in it and actually keep it keep it in fine condition which is this is the best I've ever had I've tried one other time maybe tw two other times to have long hair 
the one time I just gave up way way early um, before this level, and then there was one I think where it was actually a little bit longer because this this might actually be approaching that pretty soon. I think it was a two year growth, and right now we're we're almost right right at that level. Maybe it wasn't quite two years, but it was long. It was and it was frilly. It was just like up here. And it was long, it was like, it was poofed up like this, but it was also down to here. So maintaining your hair, maintaining the visual aesthetics on camera. We've got our lighting, we've got the, what we're wearing, right? We want to look good. Sometimes I come on here and I'm just wearing my undershirt, you know? It's just kind of for the aesthetic vibe of it. Um, sometimes it's about getting a video up. Sometimes it's been a long day and I just kind of want to have this interaction with you. But I think that it's important that I focus on those things because, as I mentioned in my previous video, the, there, there's, some, there's some nuggets. There's some gold nuggets that you can find in the last video that I did for the, um, the October review for my analytics, right? So if you're, not, if you're not interested in that content, that's fine. We're going to be releasing this information as we go. But I do want to do some changes going into my New Year's resolutions, right? I'm already getting planned for them because... We should always be striving. New Year's resolution has a bad rap in the sense that you start something and then you don't finish it. But in reality, you should use this time to really re-energize yourself and re-motivate re -motivate yourself for the next year. And one of those things that I want to do is obviously produce more, bigger, better content. That doesn't necessarily mean I need to do 100 videos in a month. It just means that one good video, and not good like obviously does well but one video that I upload that you look at and you say this is good quality would be better than a hundred crappy videos I've already done the hundred crappy videos and now it's time to do the hundred fair videos then we'll do a hundred good videos then we'll do a hundred great videos and then we'll do a hundred perfect videos <laughs> and then at that time something else will be perfect so then we'll have to go get better and that's the objective for next year but as far as you know, making sure that I'm taking care of my appearance, make sure I look good on camera. Part of that feeds into what I talked about in that big video. So I will be adding another element to this channel, which will be well-being. Because we definitely want to be able to, you know, be healthy and to continue what we do for the sake of getting better, better magic, better performance. And overall, what that means is that my health has to be better. Not that I necessarily have terrible health right now, but it can be better. And that's what we're going to work on. So adding in a well-being aspect to the channel. Drink more water. It's a plug for my new brand. It's called H2O. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, drink water. Do what you need to do to make that stuff happen. If you're going to get on camera, make sure you look good. And make sure you're, you're spending that time getting yourself prepped so that nothing... I mean... It's not necessarily that this is a beauty channel, so I don't really have to focus on that as much to make sure that it's perfect, but it should look like I didn't just roll out of bed, I think, most of the time, especially for you guys. You guys aren't going to watch some guy. If it's in the thumbnail, you see this guy with crazy hair, unless the title says, crazy guy does magic, or <laughs> you know, like crazy hair all over the place, crazy hair magic. I don't pluck it out of my head and do like a invisible string thing. I don't even know if that would work. I don't know. <laughs> didn't get one. We're doing the real magic today. It's long enough hair. I just don't know why I can't get a strand of it out of my head. Oof. Got one. See, that's probably not good when I tried to pull a piece of hair out of my head and it broke. See, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> I mean, I condition uh, every couple of days, but sometimes it's the wrong conditioner. So, you know, maybe, maybe I'll have to look into some better quality product product for men's hair but these are the things that are important the well-being taking care of your skin taking care of your hair taking care of your body and just overall just doing better just doing better having bringing the glow back into you know into me here either way so that's what we're talking about this is a behind the scenes for you guys so if you're going to do videos there you know a lot of times it's just your hands you know if you're going to be doing stuff but like Last week, or the week before, I did an experiment with my daughter, and we did uh, dye, color, colored bubbles, right? So the bubbles were different colors, and there was a lot of dye, and the dye got on my hands, and they had been on my hands. Now, that's something that, like, you look at it, and from a distance, you'd be like, oh, well, there's, you know, dirty fingers. But in reality, it was from an experiment, and it's dye that's going to take time to fade off. 
I got my phone buzzing here, and you guys want to get back to what you're doing. So thanks for tuning in, and if you want to see more of this content, just come along. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to have two setups. So we're going to be recording me doing a video, but not for the sake of showing you what I'm doing in terms of, like, sometimes you see somebody set up a trick, and then they're going to... We're not going to do that. We're just going to walk you through basically the behind the scenes, you know, show you what I've got going on here. I, I organize these shelves, like once a week and they just get cluttered down with so much stuff so i think i might need to start packing some of it away in order to really organize and keep it organized to the point where i can quickly access the things i need because right now i got piles of cards back there like special cards that i can't even get to most of the time without moving stuff it's nice that i got this little table and this table is great because i pack it up and this is what i would go perform with um, at some point i'd like to i really probably should just do it. I'll just bite the bullet and just see if I can do some like open mic night performances and just do magic for people for like 10, 20 minutes. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. So if you want to see those types of videos, we can try that. But obviously, if it's my first couple of performances, like you saw already, it's going to have some ups and downs, pros and cons and all that. So thank you guys. And uh, don't forget, you know, over here on this side usually is a video. Yeah, this is a video that you can watch. And it tells me, YouTube tells me, that this is a video for you. It's like the best viewer view for you based on what you've watched before. So go ahead and click on that if you want to watch more content. Over here, we've got this little ball thing. You can play ball with it. But what's really nice is that you click on it, and it'll take you to my channel. And when you click the subscribe button, wowzers, you get all access to my 800 videos that I have on my channel. Hopefully there's something for you over there. And if you click the bell icon, ding, what's going to happen is you're going to get a notification every time a video goes up. Why not? Why not? <laughs> of course, I've got to do all that again because remember, like I said, I can't edit this. And that's what we're talking about. We add those endings at the end now because we've done it in the past. We'll do it again. And so that's what we would do. Like, you know, in terms of a video, we have to put those up there. That way, when we do our edit, when we add those little cards at the end there, you guys get to see those things pop up. So you won't see them on the first one, but you'll see them now. So remember, and always remember, stay positive, stay active, and stay awesome. And go ahead and click on either the video or the subscribe button.